Welcome to the Infinite Mind course. In this crash course, we'll be taking a seven-day challenge on how to become a grandmaster in memorizing. Each day, we'll be learning a new memory technique that will help you to memorize a countable number of items or even an infinite number of items. So, before you dive in and start learning, it is good that you first understand who I am. My name is Kevin Amayim Sung. By profession, I'm a computer scientist, and the reason why I do what I do is because I have passion to help people and sharing knowledge. Years ago, I learned some memory techniques from different memory books, and they have been very, very beneficial in helping me memorizing, remembering things, even in study. And so I saw it better if I could put this into a course so that I can be able to help many people out there who are struggling in their studies, in remembering things. Let me take you through the course overview. In this course, we are going to have three modules. In module one, which will cover day one to day four, we are going to study simple memory system. Here we'll employ memory system like the link memory system, the number memory system, and the alphabet memory system. In module two, which will cover day five to day seven, we'll be studying advanced memory system. These memory system include things like the car memory system, the body memory system, and the room memory system. And in module three, which will be our bonus module, we'll continue learning this advanced memory system. And basically, here we learn one additional advanced memory technique that will even furnish us and make us better in applying different memory techniques. And lastly, we then conclude our course. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to apply simple memory system to remember a list of items or even an uncountable list of items. Also, you'll be able to apply advanced memory system in memorizing infinite list of items and even remembering a lot of things. So. By the end of this course, you'll have learned different techniques that will help you to memorize countable list of items and uncountable list of items. And by the way, make sure to stick up to the end of this course because I have some very interesting things in store for you. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what I have in store for you. Welcome to module one. In this module, we'll be able to learn the link memory system, the number shape memory system, the alphabet memory system, and the number rhyme pegging system. We'll be applying each of these memory system in memorizing or remembering at least 10 items. Lesson one, the link system. Let us define the link system. This refers to creating mental images of items that you have been given to memorize or remember, and then creating a series of events from those images to help you remember. Let us assume that you have been given the following shopping list to go and shop. Here is the list. A silver spoon, six drinking glasses, bananas, pure soap, eggs, biological washing powder, dental floss, whole wheat bread, and tomatoes. Can you remember this list without writing it down? Seemingly, it might be impossible. This is easy than you can imagine. Let me show you how using the link system. Now, Imagine yourself walking out of the door, perfecting the most amazing balance trick. In your mouth is the most enormous silver colored spoon. I want you to feel the taste of the metal in your mouth. Now, carefully balanced on the ladder end of the spoon are six exaggerated beautiful crystal glasses. You can hear them tinkling on the silver spoon as you struggle to maintain them on the spoon. As you go out on the streets, you step on the most gigantic yellow and brown colored banana, 
which now skids with a swish and a U. However, being a fantastic balancer, you barely manage to fall. And confidently, placing your other foot on the ground, only to find that you have stepped on a shimmering white bar of pure soap. This being too much for even a master like you, you fall backwards only to land on a mound of eggs. As you sink into them, you can hear them cracking. Now, I want you to see the yellow yolk and white of the albumen and feel the dumbness soaking into your cloth. You stand up enraged and go back home. You undress and place your dirty soiled cloth in the washing machine of biological powder. I want you to visualize the cloth shimmering in the washing machine. Now, tired and disappointed, you still decide to go back but now on a rope. Imagine a dental floss representing the rope. This rope is now connected to the market. As you balance on the rope, you are hit by a strong aroma of wheat bread. The aroma becomes so strong that you fall into a trance, only to fall off the rope. But this time, you land on tomatoes. Now, Using the story that I've just told you, how many items can you remember? One, two, five, or all? Fortunately and interestingly, you can remember all the items if you can remember the story. You have just mastered the link system. It is now time to test yourself. Use at most five minutes in the assignment below to memorize the following words. Welcome to module one, lesson two, the number shape memory system. So let us define what is the number shape memory system. The number shape memory system involves creating images from the number usually one to 10, and then associating these images with a list of items that you've been given. Unlike the link system, whereby you are creating a series of events from the image given to memorize, the number shape memory system utilizes the shape that resembles the number in order to create a memory system. Here are the shapes you can start with. The number one resembles a pole, a pencil, a pen, a straw, a candle, etc. The number two resembles a swan, a duck, a goose, etc. The number three resembles a double chin, a molil, etc. The number four resembles a yacht, a table, a chair, etc. The number five resembles a symbol and a drum, a hook, a pregnant woman, etc. The number six resembles an elephant trunk, a golf club, a cherry, etc. The number seven resembles a cliff, a fishing line, a boomerang, etc. The number eight resembles a barn, a showman, an hourglass, etc. The number nine resembles a tennis racket, a tadpole, etc. The number ten resembles a bat and a ball, a laurel and hardy, etc. From the list that I've just shown you above, you can choose the best shapes that works for you. For me, I've chosen one to be represented by a pole, two to be represented by a duck, three to be represented by a molly, 
4 to be represented by a chair, 5 to be represented by a pregnant woman, 6 to be represented by an elephant trunk, 7 to be represented by a cliff, 8 to be represented by an, an hourglass, 9 to be represented by a tadpole, and 10 to be represented by a bat and a ball. How is this relevant to our memory system? Assuming you have been given a list of items to remember in their exact order. You associate those items in that list with the images that you have just formed in relation to the numbers. Here is an example so that we can understand better. Assuming that you have been given the following list to remember. Symphony, prayer, watermelon, volcano, motorcycle, sunshine, apple pie, blossom, spaceship, and a field of wheat. We associate the items in the list with the images we have just formed from the numbers. This is how. For symphony, you can imagine musician playing in a symphony on a pole. For prayer, you can imagine a duck flying in a church during prayer. For watermelon, you can imagine a rain of watermelon on a molly. For volcano, you can imagine you are sitting on a chair on top of a volcano. For a motorcycle, you can imagine a pregnant woman riding a motorcycle. For sunshine, you can imagine an elephant holding the sunshine with its trunk. For an apple pie, you can imagine apple pies falling from a cliff. For blossom, you can imagine flowers growing out of an hourglass. For spaceship, you can imagine a tadpole carrying a spaceship. And a field of wheat, you can imagine hitting a ball with a bat on a field of wheat. By you remembering the images that you created from the numbers and associated them with the items in the list, you can remember the whole list in the exact order. This is what I mean. Assuming I wish to remember the item number seven in the list, I only need to remember the shape that resembles number seven. In this case, it is a cliff. Now, can you remember what was falling from the cliff? Apple pies. What about the item number four? You remember you sitting on a chair on a volcano? What about item number nine? You remember a tadpole carrying a spaceship? Pretty interesting, yeah? A tadpole carrying a spaceship. This is what I meant by the number shape memory system. I hope you have understood. Now, it is time to test your new memory skills. Using the shapes, you just formed in relation to the numbers. Take at most five minutes to memorize the 10 emotions of power. Module one, lesson three, the alphabet memory system. So what is the alphabet memory system? As the name suggests, this system uses English alphabets to remember information. You select a memory image that starts with the sound of the alphabet and link it to the item you wish to remember. Here is a list of words you can start with. A sounds like ache. B sounds like B. C sounds like C. D sounds like deed. E sounds like easel. 
F sounds like effervescence. G sounds like jeep or jeans. H sounds like H bomb. I sounds like I. J sounds like J. K sounds like cake. L sounds like elastic. M sounds like MC. N sounds like enamel. O sounds like OPPO. P sounds like peanut or P. Q sounds like Q. R sounds like ARC. S sounds like Eskimo. T sounds like T. U sounds like U. V sounds like Vieco. W sounds like WC, which is a toilet. X sounds like X-ray. Y sounds like wife. And Z sounds like Z-band. Assuming you have been given the following list to remember. Word, head, father, son, spirit, creation, man, controversy, death, experience, growing, church, remnant, unity, baptism, supper, gift, prophecy, law, day, steward, behavior, family, ministry, and millennium. This is how you apply the images with names that sounds like an alphabet in order to remember. Word. You can imagine an ache speaking. Head. Bees zooming on my head. Father. My father swimming on a sea. Son. A son praising his father. Spirit. An easel taken away by a spirit. Creation. Trees, animal and people popping from an effervescence. Man. A man in jeans driving a jeep. Controversy. H-bomb causing controversy. Death. Stabbing a cow on the eye until it dies. Experience. J, the name of a person, having a date with his wife. Growing, a cake swelling or rather growing. Church, people coming to church on an elastic rope. Remnant, an MC feasting on cake remnants. Unity, your teeth enamel, holding hands together in unity. Baptism, an opal phone being submerged in water. Supper, having peanut for supper. Gift, people queuing for money, a free gift. Prophecy, prophets shouting in an ark. Law, an Eskimo judge. Day, drinking tea all day. Steward, shepherd taking care of youth. Behavior, vehicle carrying beehives causing people to nag. Family, a family lining in front of a toilet. A toilet is the same as WC. Ministry, a ministry distributing x-rays. Millennium, my wife is a thousand years old. Assuming I wish to remember any item from the list above. For example, do you remember the letter Y 
sounds like wife. My wife is a thousand years old. That is millennium. Do you remember B sounds like bees? Bees zooming on my head. The second word was head. Do you remember S sounds like an Eskimo? An Eskimo judge. Low. That was our word. J having an experience with his wife. Do you remember W sounds like WC? Family lining in front of a toilet, the same as WC. Family was our word. That is the way you can be able to remember a long list using the alphabet memory system. Now, using your formed list, take at most six minutes to memorize the following list. Module 1, Lesson 4 The Number Rhyme Pegging Memory System So, what is the Number Rhyme Pegging Memory System? This system creates names that rhymes with a number usually 1 to 10. Then, associate these names with the items that you wish to remember. Unlike the number shape memory system whereby we were using shapes that resembles the number to memorize, here we use names that rhymes with the sounds of the numbers. Here is a list of rhyming words you can start with. 1. Rhymes with ban, ban, sun, nan, and gun. 2. Rhymes with shoe, two, and crew. Three, rhymes with tree, flea, see, knee, and me. Four, rhymes with do, more, more, and bow. Five, rhymes with hive, jive, and dive. 6. Rhymes with sticks, pricks, licks, and wicks. 7. Rhymes with heaven and devil. 8. Rhymes with height, gate, weight, and date. 9. Rhymes with vine, wine, twine, Line and dine. Ten rhymes with hen, pen, den, ran, and man. Here is my rhyming list. One rhymes with ban. Two rhymes with shoe. Three rhymes with tree. Four rhymes with do. 5. Rhymes with hive. 6. Rhymes with sticks. 7. Rhymes with heaven. 8. Rhymes with gate. 9. Rhymes with vine. And 10. Rhymes with hand. Assuming you have been given the following list to remember. Atom. Tree, stethoscope, sofa, alley, tiles, windscreen, honey, brush, and toothpaste. This is how I will apply my ramming list in order to remember this list. Atom, I will imagine an atom burning. Tree, a tree growing from my shoes. Stethoscope. A doctor using a stethoscope to listen to a tree. Sofa. A sofa at my door. Alley. Beards arranged in an alley. Tiles.
Tiles made of stick. Windscreen. A windscreen in heaven. Honey. Someone hawking honey at my gate. Brush. Sweeping the vine with a brush. Toothpaste. Smearing an end with toothpaste. Assuming I wish to remember item number four in the list. Remember the word for rhymes with door. Do you remember me saying a sofa at the door? What about number seven? Seven rhymes with heaven. Do you remember me saying a windscreen in heaven? What about nine? Nine rhymes with vine. Do you remember me saying I'm sweeping a vine with a brush? Using the rhyming list that you created and you are comfortable with, use at most five minutes to memorize the following list. Module 2, Lesson 1, The Car Memory System. So, before we dive in and learn what is the car memory system, let us first look why we should use this advanced memory system. Number one. It is because they are efficient, and by efficient, I mean they utilize the resources that are readily available, such as the trees, cars, etc. Number two, it is because they are effective. By effective, I mean they produce result with ease. Number three, it is because it is easy to use this system, unlike or compared to the simple memory system that we learned in module 1. So, let us define what is the car memory system. Since most people are well versed with a car, this system employs the car parts to store information. Let us apply the car memory system. Assuming I've been given the following list consisting of 7 habits of highly effective people. Number 1. Be proactive. 2. Begin with the end in mind. 3. Put first things first. 4. Think win-win. 5. Seek to understand before being understood. 6. Synergize. and 7. Sharpen the saw. In order to remember this list, I want you to imagine a car. At the front grid, I want you to visualize a pro golfer. At the bonnet, I want you to visualize a brain running towards the finishing line. At the windscreen, I want you to visualize a man or rather a winner at the first position. At the front seat, I want you to visualize two trophies representing the win-win. At the back seat, I want you to visualize a man sitting under an umbrella. And at the edge of the boot, I want you to visualize a signing balance with eyes, representing synergies. And at the tires, I want you to visualize a saw. Now, coming back to our list, the pro golfer in the front grid represent you being proactive. The brain running towards the finishing line at the bonnet represent beginning with the end in the mind. The man who is in the first position at the windscreen represent putting first things first. The two trophies in the front seat represent think win-win. The man under an umbrella at the back seat represent seeking to understand first and then being understood, hence humility. The sign at the edge of the back boot represent synergizing and the saw at the tire represent sharpening the saw. And there you are, you have just mastered the car system. Now, just try to forget the list and just remember the car. I want you to visualize the car. Do you remember what was on the windscreen? A man standing on the first position, representing putting first things first. 
What about the bonnet? Do you remember a mind running towards the end, representing beginning with the end in the mind? What about the back seat? Do you remember a man sitting under an umbrella, representing seeking to understand before being understood? And what about the front grid? Do you remember a pro golfer representing being proactive? You have just learned the seven habits of highly effective people. Did you see how easy it was to remember? Now you can apply this to even a larger scale by using more parts of the car. These parts may include the front tire, the back tire, the side mirrors, dim lights, the doors, the engine. These car parts they can only be limited by your imagination. So use it to your advantage. Now, using your car parts, take at most six minutes to memorize the following list of foods that help to keep your mind agile. Module two, lesson two, the body memory system. So let us define what is the body memory system. As the name suggests, the body memory system employs your body parts in order to store information. Suppose you have been given the following list that consists of types of intelligences to memorize. The list consists of creative intelligence, personal intelligence, social intelligence, physical intelligence, sensual intelligence, sexual intelligence, numerical intelligence, spatial intelligence, and verbal intelligence. Now, how do you employ the body memory system in memorizing this list? For creative intelligence, you can imagine you're standing on the sun. I want you to visualize your feet burning from the heat and the rays of the sun. For personal intelligence, I want you to visualize powers on your knees. For social intelligence, I want you to visualize people having party on your thighs. For physical intelligence, I want you to visualize having six packs which are growing bigger and bigger. For sensual intelligence, I want you to visualize on your left hand full of sensory parts such as the nose, ears, mouth, etc. For sexual intelligence, I want you to think of anything that you can fit in there. For numerical intelligence, I want you to visualize your mouth speaking numbers. And for spatial intelligence, I want you to visualize a spatial car on your nose. And for verbal intelligence, I want you to visualize your air speaking. Now, suppose you wish to remember these types of intelligence. Do you remember having pars on your knees? Personal intelligence. What about on your thighs? Do you remember people patting on your thighs? Social intelligence. What about on your stomach? Do you remember having your six packs growing bigger and bigger? Physical intelligence. And what about your ears? Do you remember your ears speaking out loud? That is verbal intelligence. That is how simple and interesting it can be when using the body memory system. Now, it is your time to test yourself. Using at most five minutes, Memorize the following wonderful qualities of a good person. Module 2, Lesson 3 The Room Memory System So, what is the room memory system? This system is nearly the same as the car and the body memory system, but only this time we are considering places and markers on a location to store information. Now, 
This is how it works. First, you prepare your mind. This is done by reminding yourself of location you wish to apply the memory system. Then, you create markers. This is done by noting the ways items are arranged in your located areas, the one which you identified in part one. Then the last step involves placing items to remember on marked location. E.g., if I wish to remember technology, I will place a computer on my door visually. How then do we apply the room memory system? Here is an example. Suppose you have been given this list consisting of 12 principles for success to memorize. The list consists of attitude, priorities, health, family, thinking, commitment, finances, faith, relationship, generosity, values, and growth. Following the steps that we highlighted above, we'll start by preparing our mind by selecting a location. In my case, I will consider my living room. The second step will create markers whereby we'll be attaching our images to memorize. Considering step two, we note the places or rather the location by which we will attach our items to remember. In this case, I'll start with my door D1, then the TV, then the cupboard labeled CB1, then the table labeled TB1, then the chair labeled CH1, then the cupboard labeled CB2, then the chair labeled CH2, then the table labeled TB2, then the table labeled TB3, then the chair labeled CH3, then the door labeled D2, and lastly the water point at the corner. Now, considering step 3 and our last step, which involves placing the items to remember on the markers. Using my list, this is how I'm going to attach the item in the list to the markers in order to remember. For attitude, I can imagine my best friend practicing art at the door D1. As I move towards the TV, I can imagine the TV lists all my priorities. Moving towards the cupboard CB1, I can imagine the cupboard is full of fruits. As I move towards the chair CH1, only to see my family seated on that chair. While I'm still considering my family, I look towards the table TB1, only to see it full of brains. As I move towards the cupboard CB2, I open the cupboard only to find the cupboard full of committees. As I move towards the table TB2, I look upon it and only to see it is full of money. And looking towards the chair CH2, the chair is shouting, have faith, have faith, have faith. And now as I move towards the chair CH3, my mom is sitting there. And again, as I look towards the table TB3, I find a present and on opening it, I find $5,000. And on moving towards the water point, I start drinking the water and I start to grow bigger and bigger. Then turning around to move out of the door D2, I see a list of values on the door D2. Can you remember the activities in the marked points in the room? For example, in TB1, do you remember that brains were speaking? In this case, it represents 
thinking. What about CH1? Do you remember my family was seated on the chair CH1? In this case, it represents family. What about the water point? Do you remember me drinking water before walking out and I was growing bigger and bigger? Then, at this point, the water point represents growth. What about the door D2? Do you remember while I was walking out of the door D2, I saw a list of values. In this case, the door D2 reminds me of values. And what about the cardboard CB1? Do you remember while I opened it, I found it contained fruits? That reminds me of health. That is how easy it is to remember information using the room memory system. Before testing yourself, it is good to know that using the room memory system, you are not only limited to a room, but you can use a town, your favorite places, cities, countries, and many other places as long as you are familiar with those places. And again, as long as you can place markers in connection to those places. Basically, this is among the best method that can be used to memorize a huge chunk of information with ease. Now, using a location that you are most comfortable with, place markers and now, using those markers, try to memorize the good qualities of a husband as listed below. Welcome to our last module. In this module, we have only one bonus lecture and that is the tree memory system. We are going to see how we can apply the tree memory system in remembering countable number of items and even uncountable number of items. Secondly, remember I told you to stick until the end of this course. By the end of this lesson, I'll be mentioning and offering some very great things that I believe they will be very, very beneficial in your course and journey to become a grandmaster in memorizing. Assuming you've been given the following list that consists of qualities of a good lady. Virtuous, trustworthy, industrious, good cook, healthy, diligent, compassionate, and modest. How am I going to apply the tree memory system in remembering this list? This is how I can apply it. For virtuous, I can imagine vans chatting on the root of the tree. For trustworth, I can imagine the stem speaking, I trust you, I trust you. For industrious, I can imagine branches holding plows. For good cook, I can imagine the leaves cutting pots. For healthy, I can imagine the tree is full of fruits which are yellow and good for food. For diligent, I can imagine the tree peak throwing books and motivation while speaking. For compassionate, I can imagine the tree hugging you. And for modest, I can imagine the tree clothed well. You can now visualize and internalize the events taking place in each and every part of the tree. Starting from the root, the stems, the branches, the leaves, the fruits, the peak of the tree, and the tree itself. Do you remember what was happening on the root? Vans jutting on the root, virtues. What about the stem? Do you remember the stem speaking I trust you, I trust you. It reminds you of what? Trust what? What about the branches? Do you remember the branches holding flowers? It reminds you of industrious. What about the leaves? Do you remember the leaves carrying pots? It reminds you of good cook. And what about the peak of the tree? Do you remember the peak of the tree throwing books and speaking motivationally, it reminds you of diligent. And lastly, 
Do you remember me saying the tree was clothed in good clothes? It reminds you of modest. Do you see how simple it was to remember that list? Now, to improve your efficiency, you can use bigger tree and even unique trees. It is now your time to test yourself. Take at most three minutes in order to memorize the following list that consists of financial mastery. Now, thank you so much guys because you have just finished the challenge of becoming the Grand Master in memorizing. But remember I promised you that I have prepared something even more tantalizing and more enjoyable than you can think of. One, I have prepared a grand course known as the infinite mind course i assure you you're gonna love this course because it's gonna be a very 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 influential and beneficial course in your life in this course not only will you learn what you've learned in this mini course but you learn even more super advanced memory systems that will help you to memorize up to ten thousand items and even more if you wish to you will just be limited by your imagination and your capabilities so to say number two you learn how to memorize long numbers using the long number memory system assuming you have been given a number that consists let us say of 100 digits 50 digits 25 digits here in this course you learn how to memorize all these numbers again you learn how to memorize historical dates for different historical events. You learn how to memorize all these historical dates using the historical dates memory system. You'll also learn the new language memory system. Let us say, for example, you are transitioning from English and you're learning maybe French, maybe Spanish. In this course, you learn different techniques that will help you to master new language with ease. Also, you learn the best study techniques so that when you are studying, you won't waste time studying and you know doing repetition over and over before you understand something. I define there the best techniques on how to approach your study, how to concentrate, how to save time and to get most out of your study while you are doing your studies. Also, I'll teach you not making techniques. You don't want to waste time again reading and writing, I don't know, 12 pages of notes. I'll teach you how to use mind maps in making your notes while you are studying. It will save you a lot, lot of time. And even more importantly, it will be such wonderful experience. It will just be an enjoyable experience using mind maps while you're making your notes. I'll also show you how to memorize full books. Let us say, for example, you have a geography book. You want to memorize the whole book. I will show you how to do this. I'll also show you how to memorize articles. Let us say it is an article of five pages, two pages, three pages, and you want to put this to memory. I'll show you the different techniques that you can apply in achieving this. Also, I'll also show you how to remember faces and names. You don't want to meet new people and you just forget them that easily. I'll show you how to apply different memory techniques in remembering faces and names. Also, I'll show you how to calculate different days for different centuries. For example, you want to know which day was your birthday. I'll show you using different memory techniques how to do this. Guys, I cannot fully even describe what you'll get from this course. you learn so, so much. And besides, I offer also great resources along with this course that will be of tremendous, tremendous help. So now guys, it is now your turn to take this chance and just grab this course and start learning. Just click in the link in the description below and it will take you directly to the course and you can start learning. And again, guys, this course comes with an offer for this Christmas season. I won't reveal the offer, but it will be a very good offer which you don't want to waste during this season. Secondly, I've worked with my team so hard to produce a book known as The Hidden Mind Potential. In this book, we combine more than seven memory books in order to come with a more, let me say, more sophisticated and an easy to understand book as a lot of pictures, very little explanations such that even a kid will be able to understand this book. 
it only goes at five dollars again i've included the link in the description below so if you want to add more knowledge if you want to share this knowledge with your friends you know with your family members with your siblings with your classmates make sure also to check in the description below click that link it will take you directly to that book you can be able to purchase that book at only five dollars and i believe it will help you a lot and a lot thank you so much guys be sure to subscribe be sure to leave your comments so that i can improve on my courses i can make more good courses for you guys and until we meet again thank you so much and god bless you